Okay, guys. Eleven percent. Teacher kicks out the mom at school. Oh. Emmy? What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, hi, Mrs. Thompson. I'm just waiting for my ride. Um. Sweetie, are you sure they're coming? Yeah, she's just running a little late. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait with you. And this works out well because I need a parent to sign your permission slip for tomorrow's field trip. Oh, there's my ride. Hi. I am so sorry I'm late. Things just got a little crazy. <laughs> you know, school got out over 20 minutes ago. Poor Emmy's been sitting here waiting all by herself. That's not safe. Yeah, I know, and I, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I got off work late, and traffic was kind of hectic, but I got here as soon as I could. Not a very good way to start off the first day of school. If this happens again, I'll have to write it up. I, I completely understand. I promise it won't happen again. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I've been playing my game. I knew you were coming soon. Good. Where to go? Hold on. I need a parent to sign this. It's a permission slip for tomorrow's aquarium visit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can sign it. Just you can write that. Well, you're not going to sign it. A parent needs to. Yeah, I know. I'm Emmy's legal guardian. Okay, that's not possible. What are you, 18? There's no way you're her legal guardian. Actually, I'm 21. And I've been looking after Emmy for a while now. Okay, I don't understand. Well, it's sort of a long story, but if you need any proof, I could definitely get you some documents. No, I think I need to speak to the school. What What was your name again? Quinn. I know it's a weird situation. No, to say the least. It definitely concerns me how young you are. Especially given the fact that you couldn't pick up Emmy on time. I don't think you're fit to be her guardian. You know, I may be young, but my age doesn't define my abilities. And I think I do a pretty good job considering everything. What do you say? Yeah, Quinn's the best. I'll be watching you, Quinn. All right. Let's go. Christian, I need you to put that away, okay? Okay, I need to go. The bus will be here in about 15 minutes. Miss Faye, does everyone have your lunch? I think so. Um, where's your lunch, Emmy? Uh, Emmy? Quinn didn't give you anything to eat? No, but she's going to drop it off soon. I think. Can you believe this? She didn't even bring poor Emmy lunch. Maybe she forgot. Oh, that's no excuse. Every parent here has made sure their child has something to eat. So irresponsible. I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. You confirmed with the school that Quinn is her legal guardian, right? Yes, but I swear that girl, that girl is not capable of being a legal guardian. I'm going to go speak to the principal once we're done with the field trip. Hey, got your lunch. <laughs> Please tell me you got chicken nuggets. Oh, of course. Fries and barbecue sauce, too. Your favorite. Thanks, Quinn. You're the best. Yes, I 
that's what you bought her to eat? It is so unhealthy. She doesn't eat like this every day. Okay. Do you even feed her every day? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? Okay, Quinn. What do you cook for her? I don't think that's any of your business. Great way to dodge a question. I can't even believe you would suggest that I would starve any. You know what? You don't fool me. I was 21 once. You probably didn't make her lunch because you were out partying all night. Actually, I have a full-time job, and I'm a full-time student. So no, I wasn't partying. Right. Tell you what, I will take care of Emmy today. I will buy her lunch so she doesn't have to eat that garbage. Hi. Can I see that? Uh, sure. Thanks. Can you get them ready, please? Sure. All right, kids, gather in. No, don't. Why would you do that? She asked for that. I am going to go buy her some real food, like a responsible dad would do. Me. Have a good day, Quinn. Why you can't do that? I said good day, Quinn. All right, everybody, let's go. We don't want to keep the bus waiting. Okay, here you go. Do you need any help with that? Yeah, just like... I'll go get that. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for Ms. Myers. Yep, it's me. I'm Julie. I'm a caseworker with CPS. Uh, Child Protective Services? I'm very, you sure you have the right house? You're Miss... Quinn Myers, right? Yeah, I'm just confused why you're here. I'm just here for a brief home visit. Is it alright if I come in? Yeah, sorry, did, did someone call you or something? Or I just I don't understand why you're here. We received a complaint. So I just need to do a routine inspection. Who complained? Unfortunately, we're not allowed to disclose that information. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who it was. Yeah, you can come on in. I was just helping her with her homework. Thank you. Child Protective Services? Seriously? Excuse me. You cannot just barge in here like that. Way too much on my plate. I don't need you adding more stress. You know what, Quinn? It's not my fault that you're an unfit mother and you can't take care of Emmy. I am just looking out for her. Then you shouldn't be trying to take her away from someone that loves her. I am the only person who can take care of her. Look, a lot of children go through the system, and they turn out just fine. Emmy needs a responsible adult in her life to take care of her. Not a child who can't even pick her up on time. That happened one time. That's it, and I already told you what happened. Yeah, always an excuse. Just like you couldn't bring her a proper lunch. She eats fast food once a week because that's what she likes. And I'm Quinn, you know what? If you're such a great mother, then you have nothing to worry about. Personally, I'd rather take CPS's word for it. Yeah, and I hope they do take her. Do you have any idea what Emmy's been through? Or how I even became her legal guardian? No, I don't. And I'll tell you. You see, Emmy and I grew up together living with our dad. My mom passed away when I was little, and Emmy's mom abandoned her. Even though we both didn't have our moms, our dad showed us more love than we could ever ask for. He worked so hard to make sure we both had everything we needed and did whatever he could to keep us happy. By the time that me and I found out, it was too late. It turned out our dad had late stage cancer. Mm -hmm. He never told us because he didn't want us to worry. That's how much he loved us. After he passed away, and me and I had no other family to go to. I was old enough to take care of myself. But 
since Emmy was under 18. She was taken away into the system. Losing her was just as hard as losing my father. After that, I did everything I could to get Emmy back. I found out I could become her legal guardian, and I fought for months to make that happen. Despite my age, seeing how responsible I was, the judge decided to say yes. I'll never forget the day I got her back. That day I promised her that no matter what, I would always be by her side. We've been together ever since. So you see, I'm all she has. I, I know we're still adjusting to the situation, but there is no one she should be with besides me. Please, just don't take her away from me. I mean, if not for me, then for Emmy's sake, please. If what you're saying is true, then I'm really sorry that you've been through that. I really am. But just because you want to take care of Emmy doesn't mean you're able to. So like I said, I'll just wait for CPS's findings. Mrs. Thompson? Hi. How'd it go? I'm still conducting my investigation, but after my initial inspection, I feel like Quinn is doing an incredible job taking care of Emmy. Really? Yeah. I'm very impressed, especially considering her age. But if anything changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I think her case will be closed pretty soon. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You think I should paint your nails? Yes, <laughs> please. You do such a good job. I swear I can't do it at all. Oh, coming one second. Hi. Miss Thompson, what are you doing here? I hope you don't mind me coming over like this. I got your address from the school. I came over because I wanted to tell you how sorry I am for judging you. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well, CPS concluded their investigation. Everything that you said is true. Emmy really is lucky to have you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming all the way out here. We really didn't have to do that. Oh, and also, I wanted to drop off chicken nuggets, french fries, and barbecue sauce. Enough for the both of you. Thank you. You know, I was cooking dinner, but I think Emmy's going to eat this. I'll do this. And also, we're having a field trip next week. Oh, yeah, I can help you sign that out. What I was going to ask you is, would you like to join us? It would be a lot more fun having you there. Especially because you're so great with the kids. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Great. So I'll see you soon. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Me too. Did you already eat all of them? Really? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs>
Where's your mom? I was adopted. This whole Hi guys, I see you my Okay guys, that's my last video I would do today, so I see you Sunday and Monday and Thursday, so keep walking willing and bye.